Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB project which is entitled as Skin Disease Classification Using Deep Learning, which is an enhancement of IEEE base paper title, which is Federated Machine Learning for Detection of Skin Diseases and Enhancement of Internet of Medical Things IOMT Security which is an IEEE 2023 journal paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that skin disease is one of the terrible and common illness which is occurred all over the world to the human being. But the problem with this skin disease is like uh, if a person is affected by skin disease means you also get anxiety, depression, anger and social isolation because uh, all the human beings makes more care on their skin but the pro but the skin disease is uh, called for the various reasons uh, they like pollution air pollution or based on their chronic etc many kinds of things are there so there are various kinds of skin disease also uh, but here in the base paper the authors are going to classify the skin disease using the federated learning approach and also uh, they are going to take the uh, four classes which is uh, eczema, acute, psoriasis and rosaya and uh, they have achieved the accuracy of around 94.15 percentage but kindly note that we are not going to do the same as mentioned in the base paper so now let us see about our proposed system so in the proposed system we are going to implement using vgg16 architecture and the accuracy that we have achieved is around 98.08 percentage and regarding the skin disease classification so we are going to classify five distinct classes which are acune cystic acune that is a type of acune cystic acune biting flias diabetic blisters spider bites and vitiligo so these are the classes that we are going to uh, classify the skin disease I'll show you the data set images so in the data set folder we have these uh, five classes so first let me go for the cystic acute class so these are the images that we are going to train up the system so sample image I'll show you so this is a sample image of this acute cystic and biting flares this is uh, images of the biting flares and this is about the diabetic blue so this is about the these are the images that is available in the diabetic bullet and this is a class spider bite so these are the images that is available in the spider bite and final class is vitiligo so these are the images that is available for the class vitiligo so these are the images that we are going to train up the system so as mentioned we are going to use vgg16 architecture and the accuracy we have achieved is 98.08 percent so these details have been mentioned in the our proposed abstract so in the existing system as we are taking the base paper as existing so we are going to mention about the federated learning methodology mm, those details have been mentioned in the existing system and these are the disadvantages of the existing system and coming to the proposed system as mentioned we will be developing using vgg16 architecture using matlab and uh, the data set details and first the pre-processing will be made and after that the, the training will be made and classification will be taken place and these are the advantages of the proposed system and coming to the system architecture in the training process we will be giving the data set images that we have shown you and it will be made pre-processor that is enhancement and resizing and training using vgg16 cnn model and generation of the train model will be saved so in the testing process the input images will be given and pre-processing will be done and enhancement by ahg and resize type and classification is done using vgc and execution the train network model will be loaded here and the results will be classified the five class classes which i showed and the performance analysis part will be shown so these are the modules of the project image acquisition pre-processing skin disease classification performance measure and 
this is the hardware and software requirements as mentioned we'll be developing using matlab and the tool that we have used is matlab or 2021a and this is the base paper reference so now let us see the execution of the project so first go into the source code location copy the source code location now open matlab or 2021a so in the address bar I'll paste the location that I have copied and click enter. So now you can see the complete code has been loaded here in the left side panel. So now let me select final.yum file and then right click it and then click run. So now kindly wait for a few seconds. This is now process. And now you can see the GUI of the project with the project title classification of skin disease using deep learning. So the processes are load the image, pre-processing, skin disease classification, performance analysis. So let me first load the image. So just click that load test image button and now you can go to the test images folder you can select the images that is given in the test image or you can also select from the images that we have trained up in the data set folder let me show you both the cases first let me go to the test image folder so i'll select an image that is available and you can preview the image that we have selected here and let me click the pre-processing so now you can see the pre-processed image that is contrast enhancement image using AHE and resized image has been previewed here and now coming to the important part that is the skin disease classification so just click the skin disease classification So now you can see the train network model was loaded message so it takes few seconds and now you can see it is classified as vitiligo so that is skin disease classification using vgg16 result is vitiligo on the printed score you can see is 0 0.989704 so now let me close it and now let me run it again so now this time i'll just go to the data set folder so now let me go to the cystic acute folder and now let me select any of the image for example i'll select this image so this is the image that we have previewed and just go for the pre-processing part and now let us see about the classification result using vg16 and now you can see it is classified correctly as acute cystic and you can see printed score is one and uh, now let me run it again just load the test image go to the data set let me go to the next class that is biting fleas and let me select an image let me go for the pre-processing let me classify using the vg16 architecture and now you can see it is classified as biting fleas correctly and the printed score is also one now let me run it again quickly and now let me go to the load test image and go to the the third class let me select an image so this is the image that i have selected and go for the pre-processing and let me go for the classification of the result and now you can see it is correctly classified as diabetic bullia and now let me run it again me load the image of this time with the fourth class for example i'll select this image this is the image i selected we go for the pre-processing this is the pre-processed image and let me classify and see the result of the skin disease classification using vgg16 architecture and now you can see it is classified as spider bite and the printed score is 0 0.9999756 now let me run it again and load the image this time using the final class uh, let me go for the pre-processing go for the skin disease classification so now you can see it is printed correctly as vitiligo so now here you can uh, have a doubt what happens if I'm going to give some other image that is not available in the data set part. So in case if you are giving like that, it may give random result only. So if you wanted to give the images that is other than image in the same class also, you can just give the images that which is matching the correct size of the image. So if you are giving like that, it may predict correctly or else it will give some random results only. 
for example if you are giving some other images uh, for example bus car anything like that it may give some random result only so only use the image that is given in the data set part in case if you are giving uh, uh, the same class images you can just resize the image and give the exact size and uh, good, good quality images so that it may predict correctly accordingly so now this time finally i'll just go to the test images folder i'll select a random image or and then go for the pre-processing go for the skin disease classification and now you can see it is classified correctly as a cune cystic so in this way you can check with the images that is provided in the test and the train folder so i'll move to the next part the final part that is the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis part it takes few minutes to make the performance analysis calculations and uh, here you can see the performance analysis calculation detail that is uh, accuracy, error rate, precision, recall, specificity of score and MCC that is Matthews correlation coefficient. So these things will be processed here. So kindly wait till the process is completed. So you need to wait till you see this completed message and click OK. So now first thing is like you can see uh, the figure one uh, with the skin disease classification result with predicted score. So you can see each class with the predicted score of it. So here the first image with vitiligo with 100% predicted result and uh, second image with biting fleas with 100% diabetic bullet with 100% acute cystic with 100% and uh, biting fleas 99.9 percentage so you can see maximum all the results of uh, our predicted score with 100 percentage or 99 percentage around so now let me move to the next part that is the confusion matrix so here you can see the confusion matrix which contains which contains the true and predicted label with the five classes acute cystic biting fleas diabetic bullet spider bite and vitiligo and final is the performance analysis of vg16 architecture so which uh, accuracy value 0 0.9808 error value 0 0.0192 precision value 0 0.9857 specificity with 0 0.9949 sensitivity with 0 0.9733 f1 score with 0 0.9798 sorry f1 score with 0 0.9788 mcc with 0 0.9745 and in the command window you can see the values that is generated here for the performance analysis part and this is all about the project classification of skin disease using deep learning using matlab and thank you for watching